right, hey everybody, Cider Guys here. We're at the uh, Cider Fest 2018 in Asheville, North Carolina. We're gonna get in here and see what they got going on. We'll give you a little footage of just the the uh, area itself, kind of let you see what's going on, and then we'll hopefully be able to do some interviews and just talk to people. Yep. And we'll uh, maybe do a few reviews for you on here, and uh, I don't know, we'll just see what all they got going on and uh, yep. what all we can bring. So. Yeah, first time here, so we'll just see how it goes. So, we'll be back. samples out here. Um, we've already sampled one from Noble and Red Clay Cider. We've got in front of us Raspberry Hop from Urban Orchard. We're going to give you a, a quick review of it so far. Yep. Um, you get the raspberry and the hop on the aroma. Yep. Uh, Pretty interesting because usually the hop cider is usually the hop aroma kind of overpowers whatever else is in it, but the raspberry really does yeah, stand you really out. Smell that fruit. Mm. And it, flavor wise too, you can get the raspberry, but it's also it's some, the hop stands out. The raspberry is, is more subtle. Yeah. But uh, it's a very refreshing hop. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. It, they, the sign down there said what kind of hop. That can be. But um, it's not like a beer hop. It's, it's a more refreshing, lighter flavor. Yeah, it's not nearly as it's not nearly as hoppy tasting as some of the other ones that we've had, which is nice. I mean, I'm not. I've said before on the show, I'm not a huge fan of hops, especially. Really hard hop flavor, so this is actually pretty good. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna hit some more. Yep, we'll let you know. All right, cider fans, we've got our uh, our review number two here. Now this is uh, from Red Clay, is one of their ciders that we're doing. It's the Chai Jack. Chai Jack. It's got chai tea and pumpkin. And uh, we were told they get their chai tea from Appalachia Tea. It's the same place that uh, I, we made a recent post about Noble Cider Spice Emergent. They get their spice tea also from Appalachia Tea. So. So cool. So um, it'll be interesting to see. Now you've tried the Spice Emergent, mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting to see kind of the difference between you know this the Red Clay's version and then mm -hmm. you know Noble's version. Yep. So let's get into that one. So, you get a pretty spicy aroma. Yeah, you get sort of a, a cinnamony uh, aroma to it. You also pick up on a little earthiness to it. Yeah, now can you tell the difference between this one and the Noble, as far as aroma is concerned? Yeah, I'm gonna say this one is, is less spiced than okay. Noble's Spice Merchant. Okay, all right. It's not bad, I like it. In flavor-wise, it's less spiced you get less of those spices to it, but you mm. pick up on the earthy pumpkin flavor. Yeah. Which is nice. It, it, it balances out the sweetness that the apple brings to it. Yeah. This is a really great fall cider, I think. So they, they oh, yeah. really uh, nailed, nailed the, uh, what was it, um, hit, the head, uh, hit the head on the nail. Or hit the nail on the head. Hit the nail on the head. There you go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we're about two hours into this thing and, you know, a lot of tasting going on. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, this, this is a, a really well-balanced cider. Not too sweet, uh, not too dry. Mm -hmm. um, hits those spicy notes and hits those little earthiness that really balances out the sweetness of the apple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is really good. I think this yeah. would be a nice fall time uh, chicken stew sitting by the fire in the afternoons a little sipper um, yep. it's not all overly sweet so I think you could you know you can sit down and sip it and not just you know to just be put out by the sweetness of it so I think that's really good um, I think that's sometimes we run into that a lot with the, uh, the spice ciders is they tend to get a little bit sweeter um, just to kind of balance out that spice so I think this one does actually a really good job at balancing it all out without adding extra sweetness to it so that's a good thing yeah absolutely all so. right 
So we're going to hit some more uh, cideries and uh, hopefully bring you a few more uh, reviews. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. See ya. some of the bias and barrel wild house cider so this is completely spontaneously fermented open top and it's uh, going through a really bready phase right now so it's going to be really funky and it's going to have a, a whole lot of tart, tart acidity to it and we're pouring it through this pour on right now just to get a little bit more oxygen in there just to help it open up and get a little more alive so you can smell the little funkiness that's back to it right now It's got that little bit of sour funkiness it's got to it right now. Um, the apple really shines. The finish, as it sits on my on my palate, you get, I mean the, the, the sourness just sits there. And it's really cool. It's, it's really fun flavor for you. And so yeah, I, we would love for you to get out here and try it yourself. So, yeah, whenever if ever you see Bonda Severo stuff, like we've told you before, it's great, it's different, it's very unique. So we'd love for you to try it. Awesome. This next one we're going to be doing is Die Dalla's Carolina Twang. It's a uh, cider with grapefruit. Yep. So we're going to dive into this one. Get a slight citrus aroma to it. Not, yeah, not, not, not heavy Italian, though. Yeah. A lot more, I get a lot more apple on the nose than anything. But the citrus definitely comes through in flavor. Oh yeah, right up front. Yeah, yeah. it's right up front. And... Uh, it's, a, it's a sweet citrus flavor, which was unexpected from grapefruit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I don't really get grapefruit from it. I mean, you know, what you would think about is the quintessential grapefruit flavor. I mean, I just don't get that. No, I just don't but, really. But it is a is it's a sweet citrus flavor. But I would. Oh yeah, I would label citrus. it as as grapefruit. And I will say it's a it so. We say it's not necessarily a grapefruit, but it is a different citrus flavor than we've had before. So it's yeah. not like like a blood orange or even like a citrus hops flavor. It is a definitely a unique citrus flavor, but I would not liken it to grapefruit. Like if I had just blindly taste tested this one, I would not liken it to grapefruit. Mm. But and I say it's sweet. A sweet citrus flavor, but it's not an overly sweet cider either. No, it's still pretty dry. I mean, it's still a pretty dry cider. I mean, but it. Um, but when that cit citrus hits your tongue, it, it it brings a note of sweetness to it. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is overall thing, it makes it oh, really yeah, good. It's it makes a really it fine. Well um, cider and, and yeah, I think total. it. I think it lets the apple shine through. I think it, the citrus balances well. Um, you know, but um, I think I think like I said, if if you're if you grab this one waiting for a grapefruit flavor. I don't really think that you'll get that, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's a reason not to try it. No, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's definitely worth trying. It's yeah, definitely it's very, cider. oh yeah, very palatable, very, very well balanced. Um, a very, a very good, a very good cider from Die Dalla. Yep. Yeah. So. so, if you ever see it, we recommend you to try it. Absolutely. And we'll keep on sampling. All right. We'll see, we'll see you later. Absolutely. One more cider review for you. We've got Flat Rock Cideries Semi Dry yep. Apple Cider. Yep. And so, Flat yeah. Rock's out of Henderson, Henderson North Carolina. Bill. Yeah. Hendersonville. Henderson. Yeah, Hendersonville, that's right. So, All right. Uh, very apple forward aroma. Mm -hmm. uh, not much else to it. A little yeasty, uh, yeasty aroma to it. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is one of the very basic ciders. I mean, you get a very like, he, like Mark said, a very apple up front very smell. Apple forward flavor. Um, a slight, a very slight acidity uh, and astringency to it. Yeah. Uh, slight sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. uh, just a, a, a well balanced, 
if anything, a slightly tart cider. I yeah, think. very good. Uh, just a very, very good base cider. Yeah. Um, you know, nothing, nothing crazy here. Um, you know, just. Um, very good. Like I said, it's a very good base cider. Yeah, it's, it's, it's your basic apple and yeast flavor. Yeah. It's just what what cider is. Yep. Straightforward. Yep. So this this is a different from a lot of the flat rock stuff we've had before. In fact, that flat rock stuff tends to be on the sweeter spectrum. Oh yeah. Um, this one, it, it's called their semi dry, and I would call it the semi sweet. Yeah. It, it tends to be a little bit on the sweeter side, mm -hmm. but not dr as dramatic as some of their other stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I would, I would like it a lot too. Um, like biting into a Granny Smith apple. Mm -hmm. Like if you were going to bite into a Granny Smith apple, that's what you would get. Yeah. Now they did, they do have their other uh, limited edition Granny Smith cider on tap here mm -hmm. today, and it has a very, uh, very tart. Uh, yes. Acidic flavor to it, and this one's not as bad. Yeah. Uh, not as acidic to it. So. Right. And that's, and that's kind of the funny thing is, I would liken this more to a Granny Smith flavor taste mm. than I would actually the Granny Smith yeah. cider. I think it's much, much more dry, much more tannic, astringent flavor than, than this one is, yeah. for sure. So. Yep. All right. So if you see Flat Rock, we recommend you try it and let us know what you think. That's right. Absolutely. Thank you guys. All right, Cider fans, here is the last review of the day. We decided to end on a good note with Good Road Cider uh, New England Heritage. Yeah. Uh, this is just their basic dry cider. Um, so we're going to kind of dive into that and let you know what we think about it. Yeah. It's got an apple, it's got a very apple forward uh, aroma to it. It's um, mm -hmm. just, just a good basic cider. Very dry. Which is which, which is kind of which is the the, the mainstay of Good Road Cider. Yep. They make dry ciders. They're very apple forward. Yep. With, that highlight the apple flavor. Absolutely. Yep. I'm not exactly sure of what apple varieties they use in this, but it's just a, a, a very basic. Yep. Apple forward flavor, dry cider. So yep. if you like your dry wines, you should like their dry cider. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you're a dry wine person, Good Road. Good Road. Yeah, you need to try them to out. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. We said that before, so you know that's. Nothing, nothing new that we've said, you know, we've said in the past, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is the New England Heritage, good dry, apple forward cider, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing trying to overpower the cider, just a, just a good basic. All right, we'll be wrapping up here soon, so uh, stay tuned, and we'll let you know what it's like. All right. All right, cider fans. So we have finished our day up here at Cider Fest 2018 in Asheville, North Carolina. We have had a phenomenal time. Yep, it's been great. Great. A um, lot of good cider here a lot of different things um, a lot of new releases a lot of limited edition stuff a um, lot of fantastic vendors um, that we'll be highlighting later on uh, on our Instagram page and through our YouTube videos and all that we got a lot of good content today a lot of good interviews with different people yep. um, so just stay tuned um, but hopefully you'll see a lot more of that later on um, Hopefully you enjoyed the little montage that we've set up for this video. Um, just yep. to kind of give you a highlight of what you what you could have got here today at uh, Cider Fest 2018 and what we've seen here today. So, um, but anyway, uh, hope to see you out here in 2019. That's right. Um, hope that uh, that it's just as big as this one because this one was huge. I mean, there was yep. people everywhere. People everywhere. Yep. Yep. Tickets go on sale July 4th, 2019. For July for uh, Cider Fest 2019. Yep. Uh, we'll be sure to get our VIT tickets again. That's right. And we hope to see you out here. That's right. And if you see us out here next year, 2019, um, holler at us, stop us, grab us, take a picture with us, do a little interview with us. We'll be more than happy to talk to you. Yep. All right. Then from the Cider Guys, as always, cheers. Cheers.